Hello guys, my name is Mirjana, I'm a teacher and this will be my first lesson on YouTube, imagine that. I will speak about trigonometry today. Uh, we will start with uh, definition of trig functions on the right triangle. You are all familiar with right triangle, so I will uh, sketch one. Uh, I will denote right angle here. This is uh, vertex C. And this vertex will be A. This vertex will be B. And also opposite sides we will denote by small letters C, A, and B. I will also denote angles alpha and beta. Let's introduce sine function. Sine alpha is defined as opposite leg, which is A in our case, over hypotenuse, which is C in our case. I will also write that here. So this is opposite leg. And this is hypotenuse. Let's see what will happen with beta. So if we want to define sine of angle beta, opposite leg for angle beta would be B, hypotenuse is C. So this is our definition of sine function. Let's go to definition of cosine function. Cosine of angle alpha is adjacent leg. So adjacent leg would be B. Hypotenuse C. I will write that as well. So adjacent over hypotenuse. And don't forget angle beta. So cosine beta Adjacent for beta is A over hypotenuse, which is C. There is something interesting in um, relation between sine and cosine of angles in right triangle. Uh, what we know for angles in right triangle, for angles alpha and beta, is that alpha 
plus beta is 90 degrees. This is because of property uh, that sum of inner angles in a triangle is 180, so angle C would be 90. That means sum of the rest of two angles is 90 degrees. And uh, sine alpha, we see that is A over C, which is exactly cosine beta. So sine alpha is equal to cosine beta. And uh, using previous equation, so this equation, I can write beta as 90 minus alpha. So this will be cosine of 90 minus alpha. Cosine of 90 minus alpha. Uh, this is very important identity in trigonometry. And also this works for beta, like for any two angles in the right triangle. So sine beta is B over C, and we see that that is exactly cosine of alpha. Okay, so we can write that in general form, we don't need to use alpha or beta, so we can just say that sine of any angle R, sine of angle x is equal to cosine of 90 minus x and uh, cosine of angle x is sine of 90 minus x. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the first lesson. We meet soon here for another lesson. Bye-bye.